just like, is this season boring? I don't know. It is kind of boring. So they're off to Portugal. I think that scene when they're going to home is not toothless. Um, where they're in the car and with Mauricio and Kyle, that says it all. That says, it is literally like when Kyle said, so just picture this, you're married to someone. And I know it's Beverly Hills, life is different. You're married to someone and you basically wake up and you see them out of the corner of your eye because you share a bedroom. They are packing a bag and they're like, oh yeah, I'm going to Chicago today. And like, you are going downstairs for breakfast. I thought that was weird. Like Kyle never just knew when Mauricio was going to fly out of town. <sighs> it's over, guys. It's over. Don't ask for Kyle and Mauricio. Like people are hot and cold. They break up. They love each other. They get back together. You know, this and that. And they have ups and downs. And it's Kim, Kim and Croy. I think Kim and Croy have a better chance of lasting and surviving than Kyle and Mauricio. I mean, it's... There's no passion. They're not even fighting. It's just like flatline city. Kim and Croy. Oh my God. Those two are men for each other, right? It wouldn't shock me. Look, the only thing that would shock me more than Kyle and Mauricio getting, staying together is Tom and Ariana getting back together, right? That's not happening. Everything else is fair game, but these two, it's just, I mean, she didn't know he was going to fly away. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird to me. Do you guys find Anne Marie as annoying as you find Teddy? I don't know. The Teddies, the Tedster is slowly growing on me. I know. I know. I need to go have like my head examined. Everyone's going to scream through their phones, through their devices now. Or is it just that the rat that scurries that is known as Tam Tam? That she bothers me so much that, like, by default, I'm starting to find an affiliation for Teddy? I don't know. I don't know. So now Sutton is fighting with Amory. So we're at Homeless Not Toothless. Sarah and I were there. I will post pictures. We already posted pictures. But, I mean, you know, look, no shock. We're not shocking anyone. But, yes, this whole event of, let me put it this way. From the minute that Homeless Not Toothless started to the minute that Taylor Dane took the stage, that was literally like, I mean, that was like four hours, three and a half, four hours, three and a half. I mean, they edit this shit down, guys. Mm. I'm sitting there at Homeless Not Toothless and we get the program because, you know, you, you see, they sit down, you have your salad, you have your chicken. You say hi to the gals and you open your thing and it's like, here's the program. And it's like hosted by, hosted by Paula Abdul. And I start hyperventilating and I'm maybe going to like pass out and die. And then Sarah asks what's wrong. And I'm like, it's hosted by Paula Abdul. And this bitch, this bitch Sarah. And by the way, don't go say, oh my God, I'm so upset with how you talk about Sarah. Listen, there ain't nothing I say here that I don't say to Sarah's face. I'm like Monica Garcia. I say it to your face. She don't even know who fucking Paula Abdul is. She's like, what this, that? I'm like, Sarah, are you fucking kidding me? Paula Abdul. I'm like, I don't care if the housewives are here. Fucking Paula's here. Anyway, I mean, I love my Paula. Who doesn't love Paula Abdul? Is there anyone that doesn't love her? She's really a sweet woman. All right. Anyway. God, I get off track. But Sutton is now fighting with Anne-Marie. And we saw this. We were like, oh, shit. I'm like, I'm staying away from this. But, and she's like, excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. I mean, talk about, I mean, I don't know. I'm laughing. Like, such a Southern way to fight. Ma'am, ma'am. Very polite. That's Sateen. Sateen Strack. Homeless, not toothless. I don't know why it's that hard to remember, right? They're homeless. They shouldn't be toothless. That's why a dentist is dedicating his time. We're not giving them homes. Although, wouldn't that be nice if we gave them homes? What about not homeless? Why don't we change the name? Not homeless, not toothless. By the way, we talked to this doctor at the event. They really were thinking of changing the name of the organization. Did everyone know that? That's what he told us. 
at this event that they, because it was such a stumble last season with Kathy and Kyle and everyone couldn't figure it out. Jamie Lee came, everything was chic, 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 um, that they were, well, that was a different charity, but I'm jumping all over the place. Um, but that he said they were really thinking of changing the name and Sarah and I were like, why? It's too late. The ship has sailed, honey. Like, this is the best thing that ever happened to you. But I don't know. Should we change it to not homeless, not toothless and give them houses? I don't know. Being really serious. Garcelle, his comp, one of the smartest things of the whole episode was Garcelle is like, people are looking at us. I don't know if they're looking at you because you're fighting because you're in the corner. And I can tell you, I was pretty close and I couldn't hear a damn thing you were saying. People are looking at you because you're Garcelle and Erica and Kyle and Dorit and Crystal. And you're the fucking real housewives, girl. They're not looking at you because you're fighting. But she came to this realization that, you know, it's like being at the zoo and people are looking at the animals and we're the animals. Uh, da? Avi? I mean, I call the Jersey girls animals, so why not? Um, I have Jersey tea. Well, not Jersey tea. It's, I, we have to talk about Jersey, so let's just get through this quickly. Um anesthesiologist she's lying about what she does and crystal's calling her out okay well i can understand why i mean good for you crystal no an anesthesiologist as a doctor which is dr nicole is not the same thing as being a nurse practitioner who administers anesthesia no no shade to nurse practitioners but it isn't the same thing Oh, Crystal, Crystal, Crystal. Crystal's found her voice and I love her. I love her interaction with her brother. I find her brother kind of cute. You know, he's straight. I know. I get it. He has good style. He's a man of the of the world. I don't like the brother. I had a moment. Sorry, Crystal. But um, leave your brother alone. Let him fall in love, girl. Uh, I had this reaction when I was at Homeless Not Toothless. I certainly have it now. When they introduce fashion designer Dorit Kemsley. I mean, huh? What? I'm being really shady today, but maybe it's it's literally 624 in the morning here in LA. That's why it's dark. You can still see my wallpaper. Um, I know Beverly Beach, but... Dorit is now a fashion designer. Like the people that I had on this show, Zach Posen I've had on, Isaac Mizrahi, Norma Kamali, Mark Bauer. I have an iconic fashion designer coming up. That's Dorit, Dorit Beverly Beach. She's a fashion designer. Anyone else think that was a little weird? But Dorit and PK, they seem to work for me. I think they're a good couple. I don't get it. Taylor Dane takes the stage four hours. I mean, four minutes later, Miss Erica Jade is just beside herself. She is beside herself. She is just a fan of this woman. Erica is going to school us on 